getting. In the winter time, when your titties get hard, they're gonna like rip the shit out of the nipple piercing. Bruh. Danny, it's your eyes. You wanna hold my butt? Huh? Right, it's Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Maybe I should change my intro because I feel like that's going to be so annoying. But you know what? That's what it is. That's what it is. As you guys can see in the title, today's video is going to be my one year nipple piercing update. Now, it's actually been a little bit over one year. So I literally had to go back in my phone to try to figure out when exactly I got the piercing. Because I knew it was either in July or August of last year, but I wasn't really sure. But I do know that me and my friend went together and we ended up making mad TikToks that day. And I found one of the TikToks that we did. It was posted on August the 19th. But I've come to the conclusion that it was like early, like on the 19th, like in the morning. Because that's when I normally like post videos, like at 12 a.m., 1 a.m., da da da. So I'm pretty sure that I got the piercing on the 18th of August of last year. So August 18th, 2022. And now it's uh, November 19th, 2023. So it's been 15 months or a year and three months since I got my nipples pierced. I actually vlogged the whole experience. It's on my YouTube channel. It actually went viral on both TikTok and YouTube. So if y'all want to check it out, I'll leave a little card on the top so you, you guys can go check that out. This is my update. I have a few notes on my phone because I didn't want to forget anything. And luckily, I actually, I'm not sure when I started this note because I started adding to it before I checked the date, but it was a while ago, thankfully, because I wouldn't have probably even remembered half the stuff I started writing on here. So that's good. <laughs> the first thing I have down is why did I get them? When did I get them? And how long have I had them? So I already answered the last part. It's been 15 minutes. 15 minutes 15 months since I got them I got them because I always thought they were really really cute um I remember I was gonna get them when I was 15 like literally the reason why I didn't is because I got my industrial pierced uh which I still have pierced uh, I actually had that re-pierced the second time but that's a different story I got my industrial pierced when I was 15 and uh I would see like you know the little tumblr post with the nip pierced things or whatever I always thought it was so freaking fire and I'm like yo I want that but um i knew i was i might be prone to keloids because the my industrial piercing got a keloid and i always said like yeah nah, i did not want that on my nipples like that would be crazy if i got a keloid because keloids are not to be confused with like nipple bumps i don't i don't know if nipple bumps have like a certain name for them but keloids are bumps that cannot be treated with any like home remedies they can only be removed surgically and I actually did see a dermatologist for my keloid on my industrial piercing and she prescribed me like some cream and stuff like that and actually did end up uh, healing but she told me I would have to keep the piercing out and I put my piercing back in because I was like F it like if I have to take this piercing out for it to heal like yeah I just put it back in so because I knew I could be prone to keloids that like is what really really scared me and that's why I did not get it for so many years until last year because I'm like yo if I get a keloid on my nipples I am going to be so sad and devastated like that would look crazy especially because I've always like liked how my boobs look although they're not big like they they They've always been like one of my favorite parts of my body, so um, I really just don't want to ruin that. But something about last year, I don't know, like, I don't know what it was. I just, I don't know if it's the fact that my friend had hers pierced, and she's had her hers pierced for years, but I don't know what it was. Like, I just literally, like... I was like, I should get them done. I think we were together, and she was like talking uh, talking about hers or whatever. I'm like, yo, I always want to get them done, but I told her, you know, the reason why I want to get them or whatever. But she was like, look, if you take care of it, you should be fine. And I just started thinking about it, and then 
by the next thing I know we planned a day to go and I just went that's why I got them done I always wanted them done and I just ended up doing it thankfully I will say that within these 15 months I have not developed any keloids on my boobs or on my nipples at all so might as well save this too these pairs i've gotten a few piercings i have uh two holes in each ear i have my gusho piercing i have my belly button pairs um is that it i feel like i have more then i have my nipples pairs and out of all the piercings well obviously the air holes like they they are mad easy to heal as far as like my industrial piercing and my belly piercing i feel like these healed the best i wrote notes to stay on track and i feel like i'm getting off track so let's go back to the notes where did i go i went to hector's piercing i live in new york if you live in new york and you want to uh go where i went i went to hector's piercing in the bronx i think i put the address in the original video my original vlog when i went there so y'all could go check that video um to see that or you could just google hector's piercing and it should come up okay so next pain level so i'm gonna put on the screen uh the video that i did that went viral on tiktok at one point it had the most likes i ever got it got like almost 700k likes but um i've gotten a video that surpassed that but I'm put that on the screen let y'all watch that yeah so as the video described the first one went smooth like um, I have in my notes that the first one was about a 3 out of 10 like on the pain level it didn't really hurt it, it felt like you know an another piercing like a regular piercing that I already got the second one though hurt way 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 more so I personally don't know why the second one hurt more than the first one but in the comments of that video a lot of people were saying it had something to do with like adrenaline so it's like your body was like preparing you for the piercing once you got it um it didn't hurt as bad as you thought so then by the time it got to the second one like you really really felt the pain I don't really understand that but that's what a lot of people were in the comments saying so yeah that second one hurt bad it was probably a 10 out of 10 i won't lie so i actually have a really really high pain tolerance even if you guys look at that video you'll see like i really took that like a champ like everybody was saying that i even have a spine tattoo and when the tattoo when the tattoo artist started like tattooing me i was like are you gonna start because i thought he was just like giving me an example of how it was gonna feel how it was gonna feel he was like i've been started like my pain tolerance is really really high so for me to say that the second one was like a 10 out of 10 like it hurt that second nipple hurts okay i, I just want y'all to know so if you guys are looking to get your nipples pierced maybe knowing this information might help you because i literally went in there not knowing anything um i did research but i didn't know like the pain tolerance because i know everybody's different so regardless of if somebody says it hurts or it doesn't hurt everybody is different so everybody's gonna react differently so i i don't really take like when people say pain like into consideration and i also know that i have a very pain a very high pain tolerance so literally i was going in there thinking like it was just gonna be like any other regular piercing and that second one though that second one did did it to me okay i will not lie to you but 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 that pain only lasted like when he did it like right after i was completely fine literally the whole day i it was just sore i wouldn't say it was painful i was just i had like this like not soreness but like this irritation like it was just irritating it was it wasn't pain but it was just like an irritating feeling and i had that for the whole day the whole first day but by the time i woke up the next day i literally did not feel any pain since the day i woke up the next day until now i had not had any pain now like i said everybody's different i've seen other people's videos and they were like it was sore and they had pain and da, da, da. when i tell y'all the only time i've had any kind of pain was my first day and i wouldn't even consider it, it pain it was just like a irritating feeling yeah that's that's the best way i could describe it how long did it take to get pierced it literally took less than a minute for him to do both like i said i block i vlogged the entire process i did not cut it from the time he pierced my first one to the second one so you guys can actually see that in real time if you really want to okay next did it change the way i slept so normally i am like a side sleeper i sleep on my sides uh however i don't know why but the night that i got them pierced i literally slept on my stomach because i feel like it was uncomfortable for me to sleep on my side so i ended up sleeping on my stomach which you would think would be even more uncomfortable 
but I slept that way and I, like I said I was fine I woke up the next day no pain um, I just felt normal. Like I said the only pain I got was that first day that I got them. Okay, so aftercare, one of the most important things with your piercing. Aftercare is the most crucial part to having them heal because I think nipple piercings are like one of the piercings that take the longest to heal. So you really, really want to be precise with your aftercare for your piercing. Look who's talking because we're going to get into it though. The person that pierced me recommended for me to use Dial Antibacterial Soap to wash them and also he didn't give me a specific brand he just told me to get any saline saline solution to clean them with i'll insert a picture of the saline solution that i got it was a spray and honestly i wouldn't recommend the spray because i didn't like how it like it, it just the way it worked did it it wasn't i don't think it's meant for like piercings because it was just awkward like i would have to spray it and then it would just go everywhere and it it just wasn't a, a good thing i remember the one i got from my um industrial piercing i feel like that would have been better but the one that i got i wouldn't recommend it just because like just the mechanics of the can it just it, it made no sense to me like I, I would have to spray and then it would like drip down and i don't know but i'll still put the one i got i believe it was wound wash i don't have it anymore i'm reading off my notes because this i literally wrote like a while ago so I know it's ac accurate but I cleaned it with the saline spray twice a day for like my first month and then I'm not gonna lie I got real lazy with it but it wasn't really me being lazy I noticed that I wasn't getting a lot of the crusties and pus and stuff that my friend you know like I said my friend had hers pierced so she told me her experience and also the piercer told me what I would be experiencing and they both told me like I would be getting a lot of pus, I would be getting a lot of crusties. I did not experience that. My entire first month with my piercing, I did not experience that. But however, for the first month, I was uh, washing them with Dow soap every day and then cleaning it twice morning and night with the saline solution. And I did not experience any crust, any pus, any bumps, any anything for my first month. When my piercer recommended uh, Dial soap, I had got like a three pack of Dial. And after the first month, like I ran out of it, like I finished it because I wasn't just uh, washing my nipples per nipples with it like I was washing my whole body I ended up finishing that deep pack within like a few weeks and I decided to start using a different brand of soap that I had bought like literally the day before I got them pierced because when I tell you it was like a random thought like I, I wasn't really planning on getting them pierced I literally had just bought like a 10 pack of soap then the next day he told me I had to use this specific soap so I stopped using it and because I was done with the dial and I noticed that, you know, my piercing seemed to be doing good, I'm like, all right, let me use this other soap that I had. Once I started using that soap, then that's when I started getting the crusties, um, the little bumps, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I, I started, you know, washing with the wound wash. The wound wash would help a little bit, but it still wasn't like it wouldn't heal as much. So I'm like, wait. Let me try using the Dow soap again. When I tell you that Dow soap was like magic for me, that Dow soap was magic. So between these whole 15 months, I never really got a lot of crusties or bumps or pus. I would occasionally, but not really, not as frequently as I thought I would, being as though my friend and the piercer told me it was really common. Like I said, everybody's different. I just feel like my body reacted differently than most people would but i would say this is just me randomly guessing but um i would probably get crusties like maybe once or twice maybe three times a month when i started using the the other soap and i noticed that i was getting i'm like oh my god i started getting scared i'm like oh my god what if i develop a keloid because like i said i wasn't i wasn't sure if i was prone to keloids but i know i've gotten one before so it was possible and i'm like oh my god if i get a keloid i'm gonna be so sad so i'm like no 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 let me go back to using the dial soap immediately once i started using the dial soap my nipples healed and it was when i tell y'all like so let's say i seen i got a crusty and i noticed it like at night if i wash with my dial soap at night by the morning time it would be gone if i noticed it in the morning i wash uh at the end of the day when i looked again it would be gone like the dial soap for me worked like magic like magic i tell you whenever i use that it just it just healed everything i used the wound wash up until it ran out which um maybe it ran out 
in like two months uh, maybe less than that and i didn't buy another one because like i said i didn't like the mechanics of it and i also noticed that the dowel soap was doing what it needed to do by itself so i'm like i don't even need that i'll just stick to the dowel soap and literally that is what helped me my whole whole 15 months dowel soap dial soap like literally now you might not be like me dial soap might not be something that can help you now if i didn't have that dial soap i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't even want to know excuse me but dial soap was my best friend now if dial soap doesn't work for you i have heard that chamomile tea really works because it's an anti-inflammatory and it calms down the area and softens the crusties like I said, I haven't tried it, but I have heard that works. I've also heard that sea salt soaks with a little bit of tea tree oil also works. However, I actually found out with my belly piercing that I'm allergic to tea tree oil, which is why I did not even attempt tea tree oil at all with my piercings. Uh, I mean, I didn't need to, but like I wouldn't even if I did. Uh, so that might help for you. Those are just some options for you if you guys are looking for some other... Uh, 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 if you guys are looking for some other alternatives but like i said dial soap was my best friend and while we're on the topic of cleaning i just want to say guys be very careful when you're showering be very careful in general when you're putting on clothes and stuff like that because if anything snags on it oh my god that is going to be the pain of your life now I, I only did one experience and after that i was super careful i mean i was careful up until the situation happened of course but it literally i don't know what happened so basically i was in the shower washing with my loofah and i guess i just forgot you know that i had uh, a piercing there and i'm just washing like normal and bam snags on my loofah when i tell y'all oh my god oh my god ever since then that's that was the only warning experience any sorry guys my camera died but like i was saying that was the only experience i needed and after that i made sure i was extra extra careful up until that point i was careful but after that i made sure i was extra extra careful so y'all be careful because you do not want it to snag on anything i'm pretty sure when it did snag i ended up getting a crusty with uh, the little bumps like if you're if you're rough or anything you will experience you know some stuff that you don't want to experience so just make sure you're super careful and cautious with your piercing like you would with any other piercing because it's a sensitive area speaking of sensitive um i would say that before i got them pierced my nipples were never really sensitive so like you know involving like you know sexual acts and stuff like that i never really found pleasure of getting them I don't know what I could say on YouTube and what I can't, but you know, just y'all know, sexual in sexual acts, what happens? I never really found pleasure with that. However, now I do. So yes, getting your nipples pierced can make your nipples more sensitive because they were not at all sensitive for me before. So before I got them pierced, I've always had flat nipples, flat, flat, flat nipples. Um, and when I got them pierced, like now they, you know, they poke out more um but yeah they always were flat um like literally it would take me actually like i would have to you know like really really engage with them for them to even poke out a little bit and now they always poke out so if you were wondering yes it will um at least in my case make your nipples poke out if they don't already and they can affect your sensitivity now how long does it take for them to heal this is obviously going to be different for everybody like i said everybody's different everybody's body will react different to the piercing blasey 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 my piercer told me it would take up to a year but i've heard people say six months i've heard people say they've had them for two five years and they still haven't healed so everybody is different i've even he heard some people say like they never heal like um because they've had them forever and they still um get crusties and da 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 whatever my picture also told me that i wouldn't be able to change my jewelry for a year but in the comments of that video people are saying that they changed it after the month after a month and they had no problem which i wouldn't recommend for any piercing um i don't even think your ear piercing you're supposed to change your jewelry that's uh off I mean that soon like i said everybody's different that worked for them but that might not work for you me personally i have yet to even change the uh the the jewelry that i originally got pierced with because i wanted to make sure my 
mine actually were healed before i even attempted to even try to take it out however i can say that after 15 months i can officially say that i think heavy on the think heavy on the think that mine are fully healed i say that only because it's been about two months i think and i have not experienced any crusties any pus any little bumps any anything however yes every day i still shower with the dial soap i don't think i'm ever gonna stop because i just know that like after experiencing that stopping from dial soap and experiencing that i just don't want to experience that again so i still do use the dial soap this has been the longest that i have not experienced like any of the bumps or any of the crusties or anything like that which is why i'm saying i think that they are healed but you never know i won't know unless something else happens or whatever so because i think that they're fully healed i am going to attempt to change my nipple piercings um but i am actually too scared to do it myself because i'm scared that it might close like what if it i think it's healed but it's not so i think i'm actually gonna go to a professional to just have them do it for me because i'm scared if i take these out and they're not healed and they close up oh my god y'all not even gonna know how mad i would be i would be so pissed off so although i do think they're healed i just want to be safe and i'm gonna go to a professional so they could do it themselves and yeah i also have my notes about visibility so originally i thought that once I got them Paris, no matter which kind of shirt I would wear, like, it would be able to be shown. That is not the case. There are some shirts I wear and, like, you can't even tell. I rarely wear bras. Before I got them Paris, I didn't even like wearing bras, but I would occasionally, depending on the shirt. Like, if I wanted a little bit more uh, cleavage to show. Now, it's like, I don't even want to wear a bra. That was another thing, too. When I first got them Paris, I would wear a bra because I was scared of, like, you know, them hitting on anything and stuff like that. And I did notice that whenever I did wear a bra... That would also cause me to get crusties and um, I would notice like blood like on the area. Like when I took off the bra, there would be like blood where my nipples were. So I think that's also what made me stop wearing bras as much because um, I feel like maybe it was just too, too much contact, too close. I was saying about the visibility, uh, it doesn't really show in everything. Like some, th I mean, unless you like really, really staring, but I literally thought like every single shirt you would notice it it's not really like that so if you are modest but you're like you're modest but you don't want to always feel like you have to wear a bra um or you don't want everybody to know like you don't have to worry about that um because i was really surprised like some shirts i wear and i'll be like wanting them to show and they don't show and i'm like damn like y'all can't let me be great like i i got them like obviously i can't let you physically see it but if you can't physically see it like you could at least see it through the shirt but that don't really be the case so uh that was just another thing i wanted to point out just because i wasn't aware of that and i thought you guys should know that that is everything in my notes i feel like i probably forgot something but hopefully i didn't if i did if you guys have any more questions that you want to ask or any you know comments concerns anything just let me know in the comments and i'll definitely answer them for you all in all i absolutely love my piercings like i love them and i don't regret getting them thankfully they healed good and i feel like i got a good i don't know what's the phrase i just had a good experience with them if they were to close or come out somehow i i think i would get them again however i'm pretty sure they would hurt even more um repiercing them because i got my industrial piercing repierced and that sh hurt like the first time it didn't, it didn't hurt the second time it actually did hurt a little bit so yeah that would be the only kind of scary part so i don't know but i feel like i would re get it repaired just because i love how they look it's been over a year and i don't regret it i'm happy i got them and yeah i would say if you guys are thinking about getting them if you don't already have yours pierced yet and you want to get them done i would say go for it like go for it you only live once and if it doesn't work out then just take them out like <laughs> I mean, it's, it's literally that simple. If you find out that your body just doesn't work with it, or I would say there are other options. So let's say you get it and you're experiencing a lot of like issues. You could try getting a larger bar. It may be that the bar is too small. You could try uh, changing the jewelry type. Maybe original jewelry wasn't real and maybe you can only wear real jewelry. And then, like I said, you could try the home remedies that I suggested early in the video. And if you do all of that and you're still experiencing problems, then definitely, definitely take it out. But I feel like most times those things do help all in all i would suggest if you want to do it 
go for it um it doesn't i mean it does hurt but y'all know what i mean like <laughs> more than likely you're gonna be more happy with the results than not so go for it but yeah guys that's the end of this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe because if you made it this far why haven't you subscribed yet like i'll wait all right thank you <laughs> yeah y'all um that's it for this video i'll see you in my next one and yeah later